Hi Scorpio, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Scorpio, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Scorpio. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the moon card in the reverse, and this is Pisces energy. So this is showing some sort of truth is coming out, something that was kept hidden from you. Someone could have been keeping their feelings a secret, but I'm seeing here, there's an energy of revelations. Um, there's an energy of seeing something clearly. A light is being shown in the situation where you were being kept in the dark. Okay, so there's also an energy of someone overcoming their fears or insecurities, especially any insecurities they have around being vulnerable or being emotionally honest with themselves and with others. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Nine of Cups, Water Energy, the King of Swords, Air Energy, and the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. So you could have been dealing with someone who came across as very aloof or unemotional with the King of um, Swords. Uh, this person, I'm seeing someone who doesn't like to reveal their feelings until they can, you know, kind of make sense of their feelings. And it took them a while to get to this place. Because I do see with the King of Swords, it's like they will be talking to you about their feelings. But this is someone who likes to intellectualize their feelings. They wanted to make sense before they, you know, take th this more seriously. And it's like they are reaching that point where they want to open up to you and be honest with you about how they feel about you. And with the Hierophant there there is an energy that this person wants more with you this person wants some sort of commitment with you they're not just expressing their feelings to you to let you know it's like they want to take it a step further they actually want to solidify the connection they have with you because this is someone who you have their loyalty this person this person really trusts you and um they feel like you are someone who meets all of their um requirements because the king of swords is someone with high standards this is someone who you know has a lot of boundaries and they don't they take their time when choosing but they see you as having everything they're looking for and with the nine of cups you're even somewhat of a wish fulfillment for this person there's an energy here of um though this person can be a bit detached emotionally they feel like you fulfill them emotionally there's some sort of emotional fulfillment that they get from you which is not something that happens often and it is kind of causing this person to soften up a bit because with that moon card in the reverse it's like they're opening up to you okay so let's clarify these cards scorpio Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune, and this is Fixed Sign Energy, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio Energy. So we have the Hierophant, and we have this card. This is showing change. It's like this connection is changing this person. It's it's causing them to be more in touch with their emotions. They're, they're seeing emotions as not a sign of weakness anymore. It's not something they fear anymore. Being vulnerable is not something they shy away from. There's something about this connection that is inspiring this person to open up more, um, you know, to kind of let their guard down a little bit. So it's like this person is learning a spiritual lesson um, around emotions and sensitivity and intuition even. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles, Earth Energy, 
the moon in the reverse again, um, Pisces energy and the three of swords in the reverse air energy. So this person, I'm seeing this as someone who um, they could have experienced a significant uh, heartbreak in their past or at some points in their life that really caused them to adopt this king of swords energy, which is a very hard shell. Um, this is someone who, you know, it's like they shy away from feelings. This is someone who's afraid of feelings. It's like they like to come across as very analytical rational logical um and it's because of this three of swords energy but with this being in the reverse something about this connection makes them feel safe and there's an energy here of it's a healing connection it's also a learning connection there's a spiritual lesson here and um this is a fated connection it's divinely orchestrated it's meant to come and teach um, each person something and with the ten of pentacles um this is a connection that can really last a long time i do see this person feels they have found security here. Yeah, they feel secure in this connection and it is, um, you know, allowing them to lower their defenses a bit. And with the Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant showing up here, there's definitely an energy of someone wanting commitment with you. Uh, this person is even viewing you as the kind of person they would want to marry. You really check this person's boxes and um, they do see themselves being with you for the long term. And this is the kind of person who is looking for you know, the ultimate kind of love, the happy ever after, and love that makes sense on paper as well as that connection. Um, and it's like this connection is teaching them that the um, emotional aspects is just as important. So they do find themselves wanting both and they feel like they found it here with you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Scorpio. Okay, so we have... Balance, spirituality, and practicality, full moon in Pisces. So there's a lot of Pisces energy. There's really an energy of this connection is teaching this person to be more in touch with their spiritual side, their emotional side, their sensitive side. But at the same time, they're still maintaining that practical energy, but it's like they're finding that balance. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you, Scorpio. So we have healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So this three of swords can be a wound from childhood. There's an energy here of something closed this person's heart and it, it really hardened them. And this connection is kind of having a healing effect. It's it's they're learning a lot about themselves and their um their um their trauma or their, their heart space from this connection. It's like this person is really growing by being in this connection this is a connection that challenges them and challenges them in a way that's very unfamiliar for them but it's like they are um really developing here yeah? there's an energy of actually accepting the growth the lessons and i do see it's healing their family issues or it's like this this is someone who's facing things that they may have usually suppressed but something about this connection is triggering them to actually acknowledge and to heal something within them okay so i'm gonna put another card for you scorpio So we have morning glory, affection and determination. The morning glory which blooms for a day differs not at heart from the giant pine that lives for a thousand years. Okay, so this is someone who's becoming more affectionate. This connection really, it's, it's like it softens them. You have a soft spot or this person has a soft spot for you, but there's an energy here of feeling more affectionate and safe to be affectionate. This is someone who could have been actually very emotionally available in previous emotionally unavailable in previous connections but it's like this connection is really challenging that about them there's something deep and intense about the connection that they can't really run away from it's like they they, they they're being transformed by this connection and I, I do see this person they feel hopeful about the connection um even though it's unfamiliar they do like it so it's like this is someone who feels very safe here Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Scorpio. I hope you have a really, really good day, Scorpio. Bye, Scorpio.